The LEGO T-Rex breakout set comes down to this and this thing alone in my eyes, the Ford Explorer Tour Vehicle. It is one of the most iconic vehicles of movie history and one that LEGO finally decided to do after years of doing Jurassic Park related products. This in itself could have been a standalone vehicle or a Speed Champions model of sorts and that wouldn't be that far-fetched since they've done Fast and Furious cars or the James Bond Aston Martin, right? But enough of this rambling, the Ford Explorer is indeed perfect or almost perfect since all of the details are actually stickers which is meh. Still there's the Jurassic Park signs all over the place and the car number on the side and on the back license plate. But it's not all stickers, the rims on the wheels are prints for some reason and there's still a decent amount of brick built details like the front grille or the windscreen wipers made with antenna elements. A canopy on top allows for some more dinosaur viewing angles and inside we find enough room for 4 people. On the back the iconic flashlight lacks regrets to turn on in the movie. Towards the front the interactive screen made with yet another sticker and there's another movie reference in the form of the two iconic glasses of water. There's half of another Ford Explorer that just rests on the display base so if you want to it might be worth ordering a few elements to complete it. Most of the stuff is there so it shouldn't be hard to complete I'd imagine. The base itself is somewhat plain, aside from the place where we place the half of the Ford Explorer. Some details on nougat and transparent blue elements to represent the rain, water and mud, and here two holes in the ground that are meant to be the T-Rex footprints. I find it hard to see the shape but you guys tell me what you think. Speaking of T-Rex, there's this sign here at the corner, two printed tiles at the front with a movie quote, and on the back the destroyed fence from which the T-Rex escapes from. There's a bunch of foliage elements which is cool, I like the 10,000 volt sticker and the way the destroyed wiring of the electric fences were achieved with these O's elements connected in just one of the points while the other is just hanging loose to great effect. A last detail worth mentioning is the chain back here, a reference to the place where a goat has been placed in a movie to lure the T-Rex to appear to the park's visitors. Sadly it didn't quite work that well in the movie and as far as the Lego set goes I'm sure people People were very sad that the extremely expensive goat element wasn't brought back here, which would totally fit the set, a missed opportunity by LEGO. Then there's the T-Rex, supposedly the most important reason this set exists and yet it's probably my least favorite aspect of the whole set. I like the LEGO dinosaur molded elements a lot, so this in comparison isn't obviously that perfect. And let's not forget the UCS sized one from a few years ago that while being brick built due to the scale is incredible. This one on the other hand with the highly exposed inch elements on the tail section don't work all that well for me, the feet feel overly complex and square and the torso section too flat on the sides. Having had some curved slopes would have helped the look tremendously I think. Oh and I've got a missing piece as well, instead of this corner tile that should go in here I got a Technic pin for some reason. The head design however is actually really good, the lower jaw opens and closes and there's some degree of movement as well which allows for some posability. But again with the T-Rex as a whole I'm not sold. The set also includes 4 minifigures, first ever appearance I think of Lex and Timmy covered in mud with very scared expressions. Those can be switched around however for happier expressions. Then there's Ian Malcolm with his iconic all black attire but all wet, exactly like the scene the set is meant to represent and he also features a secondary expression. The last one is Professor Grant, no secondary expression, also features an all wet shirt on the torso and he does have an airpiece for him included in the set. Both these characters have flares made with the candle element in red and the minions airpiece in transparent red which is cool. Placing all of these elements together recreates in LEGO a very iconic movie scene that will trigger lots of fan nostalgia on people. It does that for me as I had the movie on a VHS tape that I watched on loop for years when I was a kid. LEGO has done movie scenes with Star Wars previously and now there's this one and there's nothing to say that they won't continue doing so, it makes total sense in some cases. This one in particular speaks a lot to me and while not being a perfect LEGO model due to the amount of stickers and the not so great T-Rex build, it was still a great building experience. It is priced at $100 which given the current state of things and with little over 1200 pieces ends up being a good deal price per piece ratio wise. 
and it is at the end of the day a LEGO product I'll proudly display in my office for a long while. I can't help but think how much nicer it would have looked with a molded T-Rex in there though. Would love to hear your thoughts on this set, subscribe for more reviews such as these and I'll see you all in the next video.